An afternoon with the boys was great, but I needed some girl time. Val's mother and local legend Lois has a major passion for the Chathams and has established a Garden of Eden over here. You're originally, you're actually probably, you are the first of the croons to be here and we're in your garden and we're in probably the most amazing landscapes I've ever seen in my life right here. Just talk to me a little bit about your gardens and your life here. Well, the land, the land actually belongs to my, was my mother's and it's actually Māori land and it goes right from the road right through to the sea. This is where the garden is, of course, is the crossover between sand and peat. So it's like a potting mix and I can grow anything here. It's wonderful. And of course, as I was saying before, that the Wellington Botanical Garden made a statement on national television that they had more forget-me-nots than the Chatham Islands. So I was going to certainly make sure that that wasn't going to, uh, that we were going to uh, improve on that. And so uh, that's why we have so many forget-me-nots in our garden. So, I mean, there's forget-me-nots around the world, but what are the forget-me-nots here? Well, the forget-me-not here, of course, is endemic to here. It's, we call it the chat, the local name is it the Chatham Island Lily. But the forget-me-not is actually endemic to the Chathams. Its origins are from here. And, um, and it's just been exported all over the world as, um, for, uh, you know, for people to grow. And another special thing that you do here that's very unique, and it's definitely the Chathams way, um, is you actually bring people out to your property and give them a great feast and get to see once again something you've created with your family. It's quite special. Well, for all the tours that come through, every Sunday, everybody comes out to the garden and we have go around the garden and people can sit and relax for a while because uh, sometimes the tours can be fairly, um, what shall we call them? They're actually adventured, <laughs> adventurous in some ways. So when they come, they can relax and we have a barbecue, sit by the fire, and um, just everybody can relax and enjoy themselves. And you know, mostly we go around the garden and all people are always usually interested in what the plants are and, and generally about life on Chatham. What do you love about living in the Chathams and being from the Chathams? I love the Chathams because I love its landscape. I love everything about the land itself. I mean, it is so uncluttered. Um, I know there's a loss of trees, but in some ways that sort of makes it such a lovely, lovely natural palette of what, what you know, what, what it is today. And, um, and I love the sculptures of what's actually um, left of the trees as well. Chatham's is a feast for the eyes. It totally is. I mean, I just was, today I was out there and I was just, this is just from a different planet. I don't know if I want to leave this moment. You kind of get that feeling every every turn that you take, it's a different landscape. It's got its own color scheme. Absolutely. It's got its own mood. It's got its own characters of the animals that are doing things that they're not supposed to be doing, like a cow going straight off the edge of a peninsula into the sea. And it's just, it's got its own way of being. And I just think it's, it's more unique than anything I've ever seen in New Zealand. Hmm. It's Yes, it's not, yes, it's not New Zealand, but it is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was pure bliss strolling through the gardens, wine in hand with Lois. She's a truly passionate Chatham Islander and an inspiring woman.